Right, any questions you have? I'm just explaining one small aspect of it that I think you should understand what it is. Right? Any questions you have? Yeah. Right. 
And these thoughts came in right. my mind today. Okay. I was thinking to call Lalita Mataji to ask the same question, but uh, somehow I got a chance to help. Lalita Mataji is very busy. Otherwise, I have not had that before. I would ask my wife also to just ask the same question. <laughs> You said you want to be this world. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. in this world, you know, I said it's a big person house. Some guys come dressed as sadhu. And they come to the person and tell you, I'll get you out from there. Don't worry. I'll get you out from there. And you will give me an address in so and so cell number so and so. I'm there. Come and meet me. Think about it tonight. 
It doesn't matter that you continue to, but maybe it's a shortcut to worship that person who can get you out. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Right. Yes. And then. Hare Krishna Maharaj, then I can So, generally, Maya tricks us in such a way that uh, you have a free will. Uh, right? So, Maya tricks us in such a way that, uh, okay, use your free will and do it, and then uh, do Sharanagari. But how to be in the Sharanagari mode all the time? That's why you <coughs> take the advice of Guru and Mentor. Who is in the Sharanagati mode, who is practicing it and knows about it. And you follow his direction. You don't do anything on your own. Because you may not know how to do it. So you are taught under the ages of the Guru. That Vithi Pranipati in a Pani Krishna is saying, that's why Krishna is saying you are long and strong person who knows how to do it, who is my devotee, to teach you. That's number one, general answer. How to be in the Sharanagati? We want to surrender Sharanagati to that person only. So know about that person. <coughs> read about Krishna. Read about his instructions. Read about his pastimes. Chant his holy names. The more you connect up with Krishna, the more you will be able to surrender to that person. The person to whom you are surrendering will get to know him. The more you get to know him, the more you become confident to surrender to him. The more you have faith. And the more you have faith and confidence, the more happily you surrender. Simple. If you don't know the person is the to actually surrender to him. So the Guru introduces him to you. And you know the Guru very well because he's one of you. And because of that, he will introduce you properly. If he doesn't cheat you, then he will actually introduce you nicely to Krishna. And this way you'll get to know Krishna. You'll serve it to Guru as a rehearsal. And as you get introduced to Krishna, you'll also serve it to Krishna in full. That's the process. Okay. Yeah. Then was Pranam Maharaji. Uh, Maharaji, my question is in the lecture you mentioned uh, Sattva Gun, Raja Gun, Tamu Gun, these all are like the ropes, uh, the bound, bound. I never use the word ropes today, but maybe uh, somebody told you that. Like Bandhan, they all are the uh, Bandhan, they are playing, playing with us. Uh, so, my question is, until now I was thinking like the Sattva Gun we need to focus on, it will help us to go in the Bhakti. Yes, but, it is true. Yeah. So, so you can't settle down in the Sattva Guna. Okay. So yeah, what is beyond it? I want to understand it now. What is beyond it is, it's also a rope, but it's the best of the ropes. I told you it's a golden chain. Right? The Sattva Guna helps you to do your bhakti processes better than the Sattva and Rajas. I mean, okay. and the Tamas and Rajas. So, if you actually chant Hare Krishna, if you change your habits, you get up in the morning, you cut in the mongolarati, you take a good bath, you keep yourself clean inside and outside, you chant Krishna's names, you be in the company of good devotees, good association, all this will keep you in Sattva Guna. You have to work a little bit to be in Sattva Guna. And when you put that little hard work and be in Sattva Guna, You'll see you'll be able to chant offenselessly, read, and you can taste that nice purity. And then the more you're able to do that freely, the more you'll gradually develop your devotion to Krishna. You'll connect with Krishna, then you'll be out of Satoguna also. Okay. You'll be in pure transcendence. Okay. That's a so, stepping stone. Satoguna is a stepping stone. Okay. Like sometimes in one day we are too much in Sattva Guna, next day my day will drag us like anything and we feel like uh, we go in uh, Rajas Guna uh, to right uh, back. Uh, and uh, sometimes we feel very difficult to fight with that and come back into that Sattva day or day or something playful my day does and we feel like okay she's dragging us back 
can, it's so hard to fight with us. So, uh, Guru's mercy is there to fight with that, but on our level, what we should do more to, uh, in that particular moment? We should so simply keep fighting. <laughs> so, there are conditions so no? Mm -hmm. You have to do the work if you want to be deconditioned. There's no shortcut. There will be little fighting and the same. No? It's like saying, you know, I have to do my medicine. It's like five years course in BBS. But I find very difficult to study, write the exam, go to the classes and all that. If you don't do it, you don't get medicine. You have to do that work. Certain amount of work and the thing is required. It's not free. Krishna is not giving bhakti free without doing the job that is supposed to do. So that work you can't avoid. We may have to fight it with bhakti. We have to do that work. Right? Why? Because you are a prisoner, don't forget. You are a criminal, don't forget. Right? Criminal means inside the prison they make you do work. Break the stones, stitch this cloth, clean this, wash the vessels. And if you don't do it, they'll give it to you. You understand? So without all these punishments, can I be in Sattva Guna? No, you have to do that. Because why? You have to do it. The basic work you have to do. Don't try to escape that also. You are not so good a devotee that Krishna will give you the concession yet. So prematurely don't ask for the concession. Already Krishna has given you a concession that only chant, that's enough. You guys are unable to do it. So he's already given you a concession. Don't ask more concession. Krishna can help you without chanting like Krishna. <laughs> and no, you don't have that influence. So don't be too lazy spiritually. You have to do the basics. Slowly you get some perks afterwards, depending on how good you do. Yes, everybody is. Online, anybody? Sorry, can you online? Yeah, there's a question from uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Please accept my answer of my speakers. It was a very, very wonderful session with beautiful analogies. Question Is there any way we can get a regular update on the sessions that we take? The servant, Ravi Brother, Radhika. This is an initiative devotee, Madhuri. Yeah, she's Rogini uh, from who was in the Harvard Group Medical College. Oh, Rogini Hatangari. Rogini Bhatia. Rogini Bhatia. Rogini Bhatia. Rogini Bhatia. Yeah, the medical college. Hi, Rogini. Yeah, why don't you keep in touch? Why don't you tell them to do that? Narita can put you in touch with my assistants and some people that are there in the region. There's a WhatsApp group. BBS broadcast where Maharaj's uh, sessions are uh, uh, the information. You can is join, yeah, maybe. Can you tell that? I mean, I don't know. I don't follow what they do. The oh, I think Sriram is my assistant there. Who this looks at it. Yeah, she yeah. he sent me. I will send to you. Yes. One yeah. more question from Hemangi Gopeshwari Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna Maharaj, wonderful class. I never realized I'm a criminal. <laughs> My question, Maharaj, once we surrender to Krishna, how will we know we are coming out of the modes? You will stop taking interest and you will lose taste for certain things that you are forcefully willing. I explained that, I think, today. Where did I explain in the morning class, I told forced will versus free will. Ahankara vimudhatma karta ahamiti manate, I explain to you, the lion is thinking I jump through that. The thing is foolish. You didn't jump through, you were made to jump through. Isn't it? So that's called forced will. It's not free will. Free will means you will say, I want to get out. I want to be with Krishna. That decision, exercise of that only is free will. This is forced will under the force of Maya, material nature, it's conditioning. Okay? So, 
That's an answer to me. I can examine that and see. Uh, you should associate with devotees who are Krishna conscious. You should chant Hare Krishna. You should offer your prayers to Krishna every day. I am in this horrible situation. I forgot you. I am the Tanjaka feelingly and render devotional service. And Krishna is very merciful, he is very kind, he wants to connect with you. You are his child. And you will be very happy to accept when you are very sincerely praying to him. That's all. Anybody can do it. Any conditioned soul can connect with his father. It's not that it's only meant for seven people. In the other one, Krishna actually responds to you immediately. So be very hopeful of that. Okay? Om Tasat Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Time is almost 9 o'clock. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Maharaj. We don't have words to thank you, dear son, for your class. And hopefully, we will continue to remember this. To be a condition service. And we want you here again and again. At least, whenever you come to us, please remind us and give us your association.